Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to increase your FPS in the Kingdom Come Deliverance game. Uh, you have three ways that you can tweak your game. You have the console that you can use, you have uh, the in game settings, and also you have a config file that I will show you where uh, to find this file. So we will start with the command. To open your console, uh, you need to uh, press the key at left of your number one <laughs> in your keyboard. I'm not sure how to say that in English, but just press this. And you will see all the um, command that you can uh, put. So right now I'm using R underscore VSync space zero. This is to unlock my VSync in the game. So you don't want to uh, have an input lag and you don't want to lock your FPS. So this is a way to do it. Also, I'm using a new FOV because uh, the game, the in-game setting locked the FOV at 75, okay? So, uh, me, I'm playing with 90, so depending on whatever your preference, you can change it like that. And the third comment that I'm using, I'm using sys underscore max FPS on uh, space 144. I'm using 144 because I have a 144 hertz screen. If you have a 60 or screen, sorry, uh, just put 60 over there. This command unlock uh, the number of FPS uh, in the cinematics in the game because by default they're locked at 30. So they will, when you will see them, they will feel uh, laggy. So this is a way to unlock it. Uh, I have a lot of more comments that you can do. Uh, I will add it on the description of my video. So uh, other stuff that you can do with the comment that uh, you can't really do with the in-game settings. So let's close this. We will start with the uh, inside of the game uh, graphics. So first of all, graphic. Uh, resolution, I'm playing 1080p, so if after all the tweaks that I will show you, you can't uh, get your 60, for sure you will have to lower this to 720p, but uh, we will see later. Uh, Windows mode, I'm playing borderless because I like to uh, alt tab because uh, normally when I play this game, I'm streaming, so that's why I'm doing it like this. Uh, show FPS on, really important to see your FPS top left of your screen uh, to see if your modifications are working. Uh, FOV, don't consider this one because we're change we changed it with the uh, console. And yeah, that's about it. Advanced graphic. So advanced graphic, you should start with lighting, particles, physics, and shadows. Those one, just put them at low. And uh, you will see a big decrease. Those four one for each bracket. So when you go to high to medium, you will gain two to three FPS. So that's a huge game. So lighting, particle, physics, shader, uh, sorry, shadows. Those one touch those one first and see your result. If you have a 60 Hertz screen, uh, you just need 60 FPS. So you don't care about to have more than this. So don't touch anything else. For sure, if you have a low end or mid end computer. Don't go high everywhere, just start with all medium and after that tweak those four parameters. They are very important in the game, I'm telling you, uh, you will see a big increase. After that, water detail. This one really important too, uh, water is like a mirror. Uh, they need to render whatever that uh, can reflect on the water. So this one, uh, really good, but again, you don't have water everywhere in the game. So it will just improve when you will see water. and. Uh, those three one the distance so this is some kind of view distance but you have three options object distance lod distance and vegetation draw distance this one is pretty crazy if you go like max or max versus three bar like this okay you will gain 12 fps on my computer i gained 12 12 fps so that's a huge gain so you should definitely touch your distance uh, if you have a low end or a mid end computer it's not that bad actually you don't want to render all the game in front of you so those one you can touch it and they're doing a pretty decent job to optimize this game to to have more fps so that's about it for this uh let's go now to the um the config file, so to find the config file, you have to go in your user, save game, kingdom come, profiles, default, and open attributes there with whatever, notepad++ or notepad. So, sorry. Don't want to open this. Okay, sorry. So, this is... Uh, your uh, in-game setting over here, okay? So you will see your FOV, you can change it there if you want. Uh, this is a, a nice option. So if you don't uh, 
want to use your uh, console, you can change it over there. You got the motion blur too, that it's inside of the game. And all the things that you did here, uh, you will see uh, they are there. So three normally means high, two medium, one low, etc. Uh, the one that maybe you can change is the view distance ratio over here. Uh, if you're not comfortable to change your uh, draw distance inside of the game because they're split uh, between three different uh, um, settings, you can just use this one and lower it. The default is 100, but uh, yeah, if you go to 70, the ratio will just decrease for those trees option. And you, yeah, you can just do it like this, save. And also make sure that after that you save, the file is in read-only mode because you don't want the game to override the, this file. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just comment in my YouTube section. Post me your rig, so CPU, GPU, and your RAM. And I will try to help the best that I can. And also, don't forget to sub to the channel. Thank you, guys. Peace.